What's up guys, Cody with CJC Off-Road, and today we're bringing you an introduction to another product we're gonna be offering. This is the Ford 2017 and up high clearance winch bumper. Traditionally, the Fords have an extremely low hanging bumper and valence combination, and we wanted to come up with something that would kind of allow us to do a little more off-roading, uh, even get into a little bit of rock crawling, and uh, be in a position where A, we're not gonna dent the bumper, and B, where we can carry a winch. So with a couple of design iterations, we did come up with a combination where we could uh, carry a winch as well as have a high clearance setup. So in my opinion, this is probably the highest clearance off-road bumper around for the 17 and up Ford. Uh, F250 and F350 trucks. It, it utilizes a, a six-piece design. We have two frame horns, a winch plate, and then a three-piece main bumper. So this will be huge for those of you who want to do custom powder coating. Um, if you were to hit something with a bumper, do some damage, anything like that, you're able to actually replace the section. Um, and then, you know, going back to the roots of the bumper, the winch is, uh, is designed around a worn Xeon 12S uh, winch. And the reason we recommend that winch, um, obviously there are some cheaper options out there, is actually the electronic control with the remote. So uh, the clutch lever, if you were in a weird spot and you couldn't quite get to the clutch lever, turn the winch on and the electronic remote will run the, uh, run, the, run the winch in or out so you never have to worry about releasing the clutch, things like that. And then on the outside of the bumper, we have this bumper designed around a very specific set of lights. The bigger light you see is the Baja Design Squadron XL, and the smaller light is the Baja Design Squadron. Now, both of those lights are a made in the USA light, um, also the brightest in class, so we're really happy to build a bumper uh, utilizing some of the best components in the industry. And yeah, this bumper uh, to me was just kind of a, a passion project, and the guys here figured, hey, let's turn this into a product. I just wanted a high clearance option that would you know allow for more strength. This bumper is built out of 316 steel, so a lot of a lot of the other bumpers on the market, you'll see them rated in a gauge or something like that. That's because it's basically you know eighth inch steel or sheet metal that's you know structured and, and, and gusseted things like that. This is a straight 316 box steel bumper, so we're really happy to offer something a little bit unique to the market, also something that is off-road friendly. And we'll take you to the top of the bumper. If you notice, there are eight anchor screws or uh, threaded inserts that are in the top of the bumper. Um, stock, those will just come with filler screws. But if you are gonna be, you know, if you wanna mount some custom lights, uh, two setups we offer right now, mount the 40-inch Baja Designs Onyx light bar, as well as four LP9 Baja Designs lights, and those mounts will be available as an option. So once again, we have built this kind of around the best lights in the industry, and for instance, that four LP9 setup, that is basically gonna be the brightest light setup you could possibly put on the front of one of these trucks. Um, also, going back to the strength, um, as you can see on this bumper right here, uh, we've used this truck obviously in a lot of our videos and, and doing some, some testing, things like that. This bumper was completely dropped uh, with the weight of the truck on it. You know, the, the truck slammed into a set of rocks and actually uh, one of the 4x4 testing trails in California, and there's not even a dent, right? So just a little bit of scratch in the powder coating. So we're really stoked to kind of have a unique heavy duty uh, bumper option for these trucks. Um, lastly, if you do see it listed as in stock on our website, it is in stock. So the only time it takes from your order to shipping time is our warehouse guys to pack the bumper. Um, so many other bumpers out there are built to order 10, 12 week lead times. We really wanted to avoid that. So again, if it does say in stock, you're gonna see your bumper shortly. All right, and lastly, obviously this bumper is in a kind of uh, color match powder coat that one of our local cutters did. This bumper will actually ship raw. So those of you who either A, want to have a body shop color match it, uh, do what I did, a color matching powder coat, um, bed liner, anything like that, you can you know do it at your leisure. Uh, unfortunately, just with the shipping companies, freight companies, and what this bumper weighs, we do send it on a pallet. Um, you know, a coated bumper can be damaged, things like that. So it's much simpler for us to just send a raw steel bumper to you and have a local coder handle that. As of now, there is no adaptive cruise control bracket. It's something we're gonna work on, but again, as of now, I know that's gonna be a question we're gonna get down below a lot. Those are not available yet, but it is something we wanna offer. I know a lot of the behind the grill mounts and things like that kind of have spotty reviews. So we will be offering something in the future. All right, so we also have a rear bumper option. It utilizes the same 316 steel construction. We follow a very OEM design as well. So this is essentially our version of a stock bumper, but just heavy duty with a few upgrades. So again, it's a 316 steel construction. It utilizes all of your factory sensors, your lights, your trailer plugs, all that stuff. 
uh, even utilizes factory mounting bolts, so there's no uh, wires to cut or anything like that. Now, a few upgrades we did make. Traditional you know, steel aftermarket bumpers really don't have too much for traction on the top, so say you have a smooth bumper that you've, you've either powder coated or painted, um, I had this happen on one of my projects. I actually slipped off the truck because if your shoes are wet or something like that, you'll fall. So we figured we'd add a separate aluminum plate that you can either get bed liner, textured, anything like that. And that's gonna give you a little bit of traction. And it's also something removable. So if you damage it over time with work boots, things like that, you can just get those plates recoded. We also uh, utilize Baja designs in this rear bumper as well. We use the S2 flush, uh, flush mount lights. These are the brightest lights in the industry. For simple backup tasks, you know, working on projects, things like that, these lights are excellent. The output, again, is class leading in its size, so you're not gonna get a better light, so you can either wire these you know, on your Super Duty upfitters or even tie them in with your reverse lights. We really did love the factory bumpers. I mean, stylistically, you know, the look of these trucks is killer, but we figured why not offer something that's a little heavy duty. I personally backed into our shop dumpster one day at about five miles an hour and had a huge dent in my factory bumper. So we figured why not take that design and throw on a little bit of uh, a little, little of our own style to it and get something a little more heavy duty. So again, there is no gauge ratings with these bumpers. It is true 316s. And I really do think this is an extremely good looking heavy duty factory rear bumper replacement. So yeah, thanks for watching. We're really stoked to have one of our personal products kind of turn into a product that we can sell on our website. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment any questions down below, and we'll see you on the next one.